Hello friends, welcome to another episode of Science For You. Today, we will learn how to make a voice controlled robot. This robot car can be commanded to go front, back, left, right or stop using just a voice command. Front. Back. Left. Right. Stop. Back. This will be a very interesting project for you to try. If you have any doubts regarding the project, please let me know in the comment section. I will be happy to clarify them immediately. Please make sure that you subscribe to my channel so that you can watch and do similar interesting projects by yourself. Thank you. For this project, you need two numbers of geared motors, two numbers of 65mm diameter wheels, Arduino Uno board L298 N motor driver module, HC05 Bluetooth module, a battery pack with two numbers of 186503.7 volt batteries and a caster wheel. The caster wheel has a ball inside it which can roll in any direction. Providing a caster wheel at the front helps the robot to quickly change direction. First, take a plywood board and cut into the shape as shown. Also make two holes for the motor wires to pass through and also for fixing the caster wheel. First, we have to fix the two motors on either sides as shown in the video. Now, fix the wheels on both the motors. Take the positive and negative wires of both the motors through the hole from below to the top. Now, we have to fix the caster wheel at the front. Providing a caster wheel at the front helps the robot to quickly change direction, since it has a ball that can roll in any direction. Fix all the components as shown in the video. Now, connect the electrical wires from both the motors to the motor driver module as shown. Connect the positive terminal from the battery to the positive input terminal of the motor driver board and negative terminal from the battery to the ground terminal of the motor driver board. Connect two jumper wires also along with it, which will be required for powering the Arduino board. Now connect the jumper wire connected to the positive battery terminal to V and pin of the Arduino board. Connect the other jumper wire to ground pin of the Arduino board. Take four jumper wires and connect one end to pin numbers 8, 9, 10 and 11 of Arduino board. Connect the other end of the jumper wires to the four motor control pins of the motor driver board in the same order, as shown. Now, fix any piece of plastic pipe as shown. The Bluetooth module will be fixed on top of this pipe for better signal reception. Now, take the Bluetooth module and connect four jumper wires to the VCC, ground, TX and RX pins. Connect the VCC pin of Bluetooth module to plus 5 volt pin off Arduino and ground pin of Bluetooth module to ground pin of Arduino. Also, 
connect the RX pin of the Bluetooth module to pin number 6 of Arduino and TX pin of Bluetooth module to pin number 7 of Arduino. Fix the Bluetooth module on top of the plastic pipe for better signal reception. The connections are complete. Now we have to upload the code to Arduino board from PC or laptop. The link to download the code is given in the description. Now, you have to download and install the Arduino Bluetooth control application by Brox code from Play Store. The link to download the app is also given in the description box. After installing the app, we have to first configure the voice commands for controlling the car. For that, go to settings and select voice command configuration. Here we have to configure all vocal commands. Select vocal command 1 and type back in vocal command. In the data to send, type B. Similarly enter all vocal commands for front, left, right and stop. You have to enter F for front, R for right, L for left and S for stop. Now, for controlling the car with your voice, all you have to do is connect the mobile phone to Bluetooth module, open the voice control section in the app and say the required command. The robot car moves according to the voice command that we say. How it works is that, when we say a voice command, for example, front, the software will send the alphabet, F, to the Arduino controller via the Bluetooth module. The Arduino controller then decides to move the car forward. If you have liked the video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to watch more interesting experiment and DIY projects in future. Thank you.